Warning! There may be spoils from the game Undertale, or even Metaton himself. If you really don't like this, then I suggest you turn back now. All viewers have been warned and advised. But now we got that out of the way. Metaton! From Undertale, the robotic game host that everybody loves. Oh, actually he's... Uh, He's kind of the only one, but whatever. He's still everyone's favorite, right? The always robotic figure that's definitely, totally meant to kill humans. I completely lied, okay? No, he was not always a robot. He was originally a ghost. That Do Dr. Alf is then giving him a chance to go into the showcase world. That, that, that sounds really stupid, but the main point is... He's a robotic killer, or so he thought. Definitely not some sort of act to make people like Dr. Alphys. And definitely not just killing, so he will have some fame. Oh, that's exactly what's going on. Oh. Well, now he wants to go into the world of Super Smash Bros. Because everyone loves that game. And it's all about killing people, right? Right. Anyways, things we need to know. He will be a super heavy character with two jumps. Mainly because he's completely invincible and has 999 defense. He won't be as powerful. Originally in the game, you can't even damage him, but uh... For balancing purposes, uh, that's not gonna happen. He will have two jumps and he may crawl because he will, well... Extend his legs and crawl by having a small little wheel moving around. Anyways... So, starting for Metaton's jab, we can have him do a one tap swamble jab by having him punch, and it's also a little bit of a long range move. However, a little logic to this, the sh um, sorry, the closer range you are to the foe, the more spammable it is. You know how? Because he has to retract his arm back to him. So, the longer away you are with the foe, then it won't be that spammable. Because, like I said, you have to retract his arm. So, little tip. If we're going to use this move, use it next to the foes. Unless, you're using it as an edge guard, which is kind of crappy. I'm not going to lie. Otherwise, yeah. You know what to do. Oh, wait, he's not getting in smash. Um, never mind. Anyways, for his dash attack, we have him do an arm jab. Works like any other arm jab. He dashes, and he arm jabs. Anyways, for a side tilt, we can have him, well, pull out his little gun hand. Definitely not something he does. Um, actually, I lied. Because then, once he pulls out his little gun finger, it then shoots out the electricity. This is kind of based on one of the matches, as you see, in his boss fight, at least with the EX form, that they shoot out electricity. As projectiles. So why not do it for good old Metaton? Anyways, for his up tilt, we can have to remind everyone the number one rule. 
keep smashing. But to show an example, we can have shit electricity, which works exactly like the sideshow, but aimed upwards. Also, these are projectiles, and they may be reflected. They also deal a very small amount of flinching damage. I'm not dealing paralyzing, da- paralyzing damage, guys. It's, it's just too spammable. Now, for his down tilt, we can have him summon a yellow tile. Yes. Those of you that don't know what the yellow tile is or where it comes from, it originally comes from a puzzle that both Papyrus and Metaton uses. Originally, the yellow tile was shock people. Now, if you're not going to... Now, like I said, the sight and up tilt doesn't electrify foes. Only deals flinching damage. However, this tile does deal paralyzing damage. The only thing is, it's not as spammable and has kind of a two-second cooldown, so don't spam it. It also makes Metaton a little bit vulnerable because it has a little bit in lag. But if used wisely, then it does come in handy, and it is pretty effective. Now, for a side smash, we have him pull out a chainsaw. Yes, we have seen him use a chainsaw in his cooking show. Cooking with a killer wo- robot. Anyways... We can just have them swing the chainsaw, dealing multi-hitting damage if it hits a foe. Hits up smash, we're gonna do some onomatopoeia, saying, oh my, but a little turnout. Then, these words will actually fall. This is based on the kind of a joke that we haven't seen, that he says, even my words are bombs. So yeah, why not? And for his down smash, we have him point both of his fingers out, but then a fire trap appears, just launching out. This is based on kind of the firewall, as we've seen as a trap in Undertale. His neutral air, we have some of these blocks, these white blocks with holes in them, based on the projectiles that we've seen him shoot out. In this case, it'll just, well, spin around him. His side error and his other aerials can have him use some cooking recipes. Starting with the side error, we have him pull out some flour, dealing a little bit of damage, but it is pretty spammable. The back error, we have him drop down some eggs, which are gravity uh, affected projectiles, and the eggs deal small amounts of flinching damage. The up aerial, we can have him spin some dough. An ingredient that we don't actually see him use, but it makes sense, since he's trying to make a cake. Or whatever he's making. Oh wait, he already made the cake, so why not? This deals a little bit of flinching damage, and multi hitting damage, I meant to say. Same thing, I guess. No? Okay. Anyways, for his down arrow, air, we got, well, use some milk and spill it. The milk will actually spike a little bit, not too much. And it will actually make the foe heavier for only 3 seconds, because it's soaking wet. Also, make sure the foe cleans its clothes, because I'm pretty sure it's going to spoil sooner or later, so... <laughs> now then, for Metaton's grab, we're going to grab with one hand, but it is a long-range grab. Then... He would pummel by shocking the foe, which is not happening. Wait! Alphys, did you ruin my traps again? Dang it! Oh, stupid Alphys. Um, anyways, for a side throw, we got him pure red dance, because, well, why not? He's Metaton. He's a showcaser. He dances and everything. So that's what his, foes, his throws are going to be all about. So, side throw is going to pure red dance with the foe, and then throws them forwards. The back throw, okay, we can have him do a spin throw and throws the foe backwards. The up throw, we can have him do an overhead toss, throwing them upwards. And the down throw, we can have him spin the foe so fast that they actually dig underground. This move does bury the foe, by the way. Now, on to the specials. For Metaton's neutral special... He wields a gun! Oh, my bad. No, instead, he would electrocute the foe. Yeah. Holding down the neutral special cam shoot, a long range shocking projectile. Kind of works like Kazuya's neutral special. 
it may be reflected, it does deal a little bit of damage, not too much, and it's not as flammable. But like I said, it has an infinite, it's had to, it goes through the entire stage. Infinite, that's what I meant to say. I'm tired, I'm dumb, save me, oh jeez. Okay, I'm done. Uh, I'm done with the jokes. Let's get into the dramatic stuff. Now, for Metaton's sight special, he wields a bomb. Because that's his primary weapon. It wouldn't be Manaton if he doesn't have any bombs, you know. Just doesn't seem right. But he does have bombs. And to make things more dramatic, he's going to have multiple bombs. But bombs also have something interesting. Now, they actually have a cross-shaped line every time you hit it. It does that in his boss battle, so that's how it's going to be, I guess. The thing is, is, it works a lot like, well, Bomberman's assist trophy bombs. Just not as long range. It's going to be pretty short. And each one of these bombs do have a little bit of a cooldown of 8 seconds. Just so you don't just spam it. Anyways, what are those bombs? Well, let's see. Now, the first bomb can happen to be a classic bomb. This bomb, well, it rolls. Until it blows up after 4 seconds. Pretty simple. Now, the next bomb, it's a basketball bomb. The difference is, is that this bomb will actually bounce and not roll. Now, the next one could be the present bomb, which will stay in place and not roll at all, or bounce. And the last bomb can actually be the fragile glass of water, which, unlike all the bombs, it will go all over the place. Like, all over the place, like in the original game. Now, all these bombs do deal the same damage and same effect, and they both blow up after 4 seconds. And yeah, that's how it is. Now, for its up... Oh, also, I'd like to say something. Oh, good old poor Link. He's going to be pretty ticked off by this. Because let me tell you, Metatop is immune for all these bombs. Unlike Link. He's not immune to bombs, apparently. Not his own. Metaton, he's immune to his own bombs. That's just how it is. Anyways, for his up special, we have him extend his lids and then rockets upwards. Yep, that's how it is. You may also control the direction of where he rockets. Actually, he'll first well, stay in place, and then you can aim the direction, and he rockets to that direction. It also is pretty long, but like all the up specials, Almost all of them. If you use this, he will go into free fall. And finally, the down special. Well, we got him flip his switch. Oh, I'm sorry. Those you don't you do not know what the switch does? Oh, you do know. Oh, well here's a reminder. Flipping his switch will have a transform into Metaton EX. Yes. Might be wondering what that does? Well, it gets him a completely different moveset. And what is that moveset? Well, let's get into it. Now, oh, my bad. I forgot to say, things we need to know. He'll be very light and he'll have two jumps. He may not crawl on, like, the box worm because it just doesn't work. Anyways, no additional move options. Whee! Now that, my friend, was a dramatic pause. Anyways, for Metaton's jab, we got him first do a swing kick. Then, we got him do a high kick, and then ending the jab with a stab kick. Yeah, it is a Metaton EX without him using his legs. It's kind of his primary thing, you know? Anyways, his dash attack can have him do a slide kick. Kind of working like Sora's dash attack. His side tilt can have him, well, use his handgun again. Definitely not in the game. I, I'm serious. That, that That's kind of an original thing. Anyways, this can actually shoot out electricity once again. But, yeah, Metaton EX can use it. So, now we have to use it. It's reasonable, I guess. It's up tilt. Kevin do, well, a high kick, swing upwards. Kind of dramatic, but it works. 
and his down tilt can have him do a stab kick downwards. Kind of work with like Kent's down tilt. Now for his side smash, we can have him, well, shoot out five legs because that's how it works in the game. He's able to shoot out five legs. Yeah, this does deal pretty nice damage, and it does come in pretty quick. But it does have a little bit of end lag, so be aware of that. Now for his up smash, we're going to do a handstand, hitting anyone above him. And finally, for his down smash, we have him do a pirouette spin. Hitting anyone for both sides, because that's how it works. That's the down smash, people. Now, for his neutral air, we have to do the splits, based on what his pose is. His side air, we have to do a stab kick, also based on one of his poses. The back air, can have him do, well... A high kick, which, you guessed it, it's based on one of his poses. The up air can have him, well, point upwards. I think you get the point. It's based on the one of his poses. And the down air, we have him do a spike kick, which, you guessed it, for the 50th time. I'm sorry, 5th. Definitely not 50th. Based on one of his poses. Wow. You got all that correct, I guess. It's obviously based on his poses. How many times can I say poses in one paragraph? I don't know. But we're going to go to the grabs now. Whee! Now, for his grabs, they have him grab with one hand and pummels by stabbing the foe with his legs. Lucky for, well, what toes I meant. Lucky for Sandbag. He doesn't have any toes, so. But we always use Sandbag as the grabs because it's just not the same without him. Yeah. Anyways, for a side throw, once again, it won't be the same if Metaton dances. Because it, either way he switched forms, it's still good old Metaton. Anyways, the side throw, Kevin okay, Pirouette, Pirouette dance the, the foe, and then throws them. Back throw, Kevin okay, spin the foe once again, and then spins them back. The up throw, Kevin okay, do an overhead toss, tossing them upwards. And the down throw, Kevin okay, throws the foe down, but then... Yeah, there's something different this time. He dances on top of them, because that seems like the thing that Manitoma would do. Now, for Manitoma's neutral special, we can have him once again use a laser, because it's one of his attacks. Yeah, this time, it won't go straight for us, and instead, it shoots three times at random directions. Sort of. Random directions aiming near the foe. Nah, that's not the point. It. This time, it, yeah, I already explained. It works very, very nearly like Metaton Box Forms. Well, neutral special. It may be reflected, and it does go pretty far. Now, for Metaton Sight Special, it wouldn't be the same if he didn't use bombs. Anyways, let me explain again. For those of you that just joined the stream, the normal uh, there was the normal bomb which rolls, the basketball bomb that bounces, the box bomb which stays in place, and the fragile glass that goes all over the place. I'm not going to get too into detail because I just explained it. So if you want to know a little bit more detail in that, I suggest you go back to the Metaton size special box form. Anyways, it's up special. I have to admit, I was kind of stumped, and here's why. Well, after thinking about it, uh, there's not a lot of, about Metaton EXE, other than, other than we've seen it in a battle, and nothing seems to work. Other than one thing, Metaton Neo. Now, yeah, we haven't seen much of Metaton Neo either. I mean, she doesn't fight at all. She, well, dies in one shot thing is I kind of looked into it and I noticed that she like she has wings let's to Neil oh wait Metaton came first <laughs> anyways so for Metaton's up special we gather well gather those ring wings and fly upwards straight upwards the thing is you can't aim it like Metaton's box form so be aware of that 
once the you once he uses that move, then he will go into free fall. Finally, for Metaton's down special, we have him switch back into Metaton box form. Anyways, now you might be having a few questions about what's going on about the switch gimmick, and I'll explain that in a minute. So, here's the thing about the Switch gimmick. You may be wondering, if is it going to work something like Pryor at Mithra? That, yeah, they switches, but they have their different stats and everything. The answer? Yes. Now, here's the thing. Metaton Box Form has a lot of defense, but, and is hard to launch out, but he does, well, pretty weak damage. However, Metaton EXE has weaker defense, but deals a little bit more damage. Yeah, it's kind of like Pryor and Mitha. This kind of leaves you to, well, strategize. Who are you going to start with? The more powerful box form, which is, well, hard to hit, or the X form, that's just rack up damage. It's all up to you. But now we got that out of the way, let's get into the final smash. For both box forms and Metaton EXE's form, that sounded weird for some reason. Um. Anyways, for their final smash, they'll quickly jump out of the stage and then drop a giant bomb, which would explode almost the entire stage. Kind of working like Jigglypuff's well final smash, but it actually damages foes. This move is deadly. And if the foe is above 80% damage, then they were disintegrates out of existence. Metaton's first stall can be the original forms as we've seen, where Metaton has his good old met metal look, and we have Metaton EX as the pink look. It sounded weird for some reason. Um. The next one can be based on their battle forms, which will be all black with white layers. Once again, based on their, well, battle form. The next doll can be based on Dr. Alphys, where they're all yellow. Both forms. The next form, well, all it's meant, can have a, have a red all, kind of based on Metaton's newscast form, uh, alternate thing. Dang, I'm sucking at this today. Anyways... The pink alt can have him. Well, it's based on Meow Meow Kissy, or just Meow Meow. Um, that that sounded weird. Yeah, based on Alpha's favorite anime. The next one could be a green alt. The seventh can be a blue alt, and the final could be a purple alt. All these alts that I just mentioned, the last three, they are just original alts. Now, for Metaton Box's taunt, we we'll have him, well, wave at the screen, saying hello to his audience. His next taunt, we can have him, well, mechanically laugh evilly. Because that's how Metaton is. The good old killing machine. Yep, that, 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 that sounded weird. Dang. Everything sounds weird today. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm done. Yeah. I'm going to shut up now. Anyways, in his final time, Gavin raises his hand while he does his M-shaped thing. And wow. Now yeah, that's it. He raises his hand and yeah, I, I guess you get the point. Metaton's EXE taunts is pretty simple. All of them, he'll just do a random pose. Because I haven't, there isn't enough to work with, I guess. Also, all of them do, well, a random pose. And there are many, many pose. So, yeah. It's kind of like having 15 taunts, I guess. Now, for their victory animations. Well, the first one could have them, well, laugh mechanically. But this time, having a smiley uh, face, as we've seen, based on this promotional art in Undertale. The next one for EXC this time 
we have him, well, dance, and then we have him pose like this. In the final one for both forms, we have Manaton dance with this heart shape on a screen, and then we have some, well, Manaton EXE legs pop out. Based on the final ending, or the good ending, the true ending, I should say, in Undertale. Anyways, that's it. That's what if Metaton EXE and Metaton Box Form. Metaton in general, you get the point. Was it Smash? I hope you enjoyed this moveset, even though it was sucky for some reason. Um, I, I, I honestly don't know why. Anyways, if you like it, then, well, please subscribe. And if you don't, then, yeah, you're a jerk. Then, if you don't feel like subscribing, then I guess give a like. Yes, I was joking about the jerk thing. You, you were lucky enough to watch this, I guess. If you watch this, then I guess you're not a jerk, because you found me. Anyways, if we want to hang out with the community, then I suggest you go to the Discord server, which is in the About Us page, or on the banner, and the channel. Anyways, that's what if Metaton was a smash. See you next time, peeps.